How to create stress and how not to. The desire for less stress runs deeper than the ego's desires. This desire, along with the desires for wholeness, peace, love, and happiness, reflect our soul's desire to return to our true nature. Becoming less stressed is a way to do that. Stress keeps us involved with the ego, while a lack of stress allows us to drop into stillness. Just in case you don't already know, here's how to create stress. As you go about your day, think about all the things you have to do. Go over your to do list mentally many times a day, especially in the midst of doing something. Be sure to tell everyone how busy you are, how much you have to do, how exhausted you are, and how you'll never get it all done on time. Keep checking the time and think about time a lot. How much time something took, how much time something takes, how much time something will take, how much time you have left. Tell yourself that you don't have enough time or worry that you don't. Constantly judge and compare yourself with others. Did I do that well enough? I should have done that better. Was it as good as last time? Was it as good as how mom did it? How come he always does everything better than me? Set a goal and make that more important than anything else. Imagine that you won't be happy until you achieve a particular goal and then push yourself harder than everyone else. Don't rest. Don't enjoy what you're doing. Don't take time for relationships. Don't take time to eat right or exercise. Just keep your nose to the grindstone, no matter how you feel. Tell negative stories. I can't do anything right. Life is too hard. No one will ever love me. I'll never be happy. Other people are jerks. She's never nice to me. Why is my life always so hard? Be sure to include always and never in your stories to make them especially convincing. Want something other than what is. Wish and long to be different and for your life to be different. Be heartbroken that things aren't the way you want them to be. Dream of how your life could be or should be, or how perfect other people's lives are. Then tell everybody how unhappy you are and what a failure your life is. Do it all. Believe that you should be able to do it all and do it all perfectly. Everything you think you need to do, everything everyone else wants you to do, and everything you want to do. Assume that everyone else is juggling all these things perfectly. Don't take time to rest or do the things you'd really like to do or the things that mean the most to you. Say yes to every request from others. Make everyone else's needs more important than yours. Don't take care of yourself. Don't be kind to yourself. Don't make stillness, relaxation, or enjoyment of life a priority. How not to create stress. Don't listen to the mind's negativity, judgments, and comparisons. Notice what a liar, exaggerator, and fearmonger the mind is. Notice how its lies create feelings if you listen to it. Slow down so that you can smell the roses as you go. Don't listen to the hurry up voice of the ego. Enjoy the ride. There really is time for everything, at least for everything that's really important. Do one thing at a time. Limit multitasking to things you can do easily and joyfully without creating stress. Don't set arbitrary timelines and deadlines for what you have to do. Be flexible about what you do and when, 
and don't set deadlines for things that don't need deadlines. Allow things to get done more naturally in their own time. The flow has a natural rhythm and grace in which things that need to get done do get done. Stop thinking about what you have to do. Making a to-do list can help the mind relax, but don't keep going over it mentally during your day. While you're doing other things, don't think about what else you have to do or plan to do or even want to do. Just be present to whatever you are doing. Do what you do out of joy as it naturally arises to be done, not because your mind is pushing you to do it. Notice how the mind pushes you to do things and don't listen to it. Instead, notice how your being is moving you and what it's naturally drawn to doing. Get really involved in whatever you're doing. Experience it fully with all of your senses. Be in the experience of the present moment and not lost in your thoughts. Don't say yes out of obligation. When you don't feel an inner yes, say no to others' requests for your help. Reserve some of your time and energy for things you love to do. Be kind to yourself. Let yourself and everyone else be imperfect. Expect mistakes. Forgive and have compassion for yourself and others. Do what brings you joy, peace, and love. Make love, peace, and happiness more important than things and more important than getting things done. You'll find that many of the things you think you need to do don't actually need to be done. They aren't as important as your mind thinks they are.